Hello, my name is ACB The Man, and before we start this podcast, I would like to say one thing to all the Epic members. If you haven't seen Lore, said he has officially retired from Destiny. I do not know if that means Destiny 1, Destiny 2, and forever, or if that's just Destiny 1, he's going to come back from Destiny 2. But just uh, to let you guys know, the reason we haven't seen him in Slacker or on uh, doing some runs with people is because Lore has retired from actually playing Destiny. He just, all the things he loved about it have kind of changed, and he knows it's from a business sense. You can read his full write up on um, Clan Epic Reddit page, C L A N E P I C, one word, on the Reddit page. Just read up on it. Um, and so, just to give you a little bit of heads up there, we hope he comes back for Destiny 2, but um, we just wish him luck in everything that he's doing. Let's move on to episode number 12. <laughs> Alright, so once again, I am ACB the Man, and we have Binelli. How are you doing tonight, man? I'm doing good. Very, very good. And we have Doc again, PhD Shannon How are you doing? Pretty fantastic. How about yourself? I'm doing well. So guys, um, we have like three days until we're playing, like two and a half days until we're playing the Destiny 2 beta. It is almost here, if you for whatever reason are listening to this and uh, decided to pick up the beta on PS4, you have two days, as long as you pre-ordered. So, uh, I'm not going to be playing a lot of Destiny this week, because I'm going to be playing a ton of Destiny 2 beta. So what are y'all looking forward to the most, before we talk about some of the new things uh, that they've kind of revealed? Uh, I guess I just kind of want to check out Destiny in general, and see how it goes. You know, just uh, check out the strikes, uh, check out the mission, kind of want to experience the, the first uh, you know, a little story mission there and kind of see how that goes and, of course, play a whole lot of, uh, whole Crucible or whatever they call the PvP. Doc, you're about to say something? Uh, so it's new subclasses that I want to see. Yeah, I get a little bit of a better idea of how the, uh, or how the, uh, subclasses for Destiny 2 are going to play. Well, we'll get to, uh, Sentinel in a second, a couple of ones, but, uh, I'm looking forward to the PvP Especially because the, like, melees are not one-hit kills. Grenades are not one-hit kills. So I'm just looking forward to a little bit slowed down and seeing how that feels in the Crucible. But, um, so you, Doc, you mentioned subclasses. So we are going to be able to play the Dawnblade, the Arcstrider, and the Sentinel, uh, all those new subclasses. And they revealed more information on the Sentinel in their sort of, uh, in one of the IGN first videos, what are y'all's guys' thoughts on the Sentinel Titan uh, so far? I'm looking forward to it as a classic Titan lover. Um, I'm just kind of looking to see how the gameplay turns out with it and just see what it does. From what I'm seeing, I'm betting it's one of the things that people first call nerf on. Now, granted, whether it's going to need a nerf or not, because the Sentinel Titan has a shield bash, which is essentially uh, the sun charge from the um, solar Titan, but now it's void. It has the ability to throw your shield, which it looks like your shield throw is on a cooldown, but you can still throw your shield. And if you don't want to do any of that, you can throw your bubble up instead. And uh, while you use your bubble, um, it's you can tell like the, the bubble will have a little bit less health, but you still will have a bubble. And I don't know if the bubble is going to be in one of the specific... Um, like subclass node clusters or not, but you have these three options for it, and it just seems like it, it is a very versatile super. Um, the one thing I'm kind of disappointed about, or kind of iffy about, I guess, it looks like they're taking suppressors out of the game. The um, Sentinel Titan had the Void Wall grenade, which is a very good grenade, but it looks like suppressors are coming out of the game. And maybe it was a little bit too overpowered for Destiny 2, but uh, I really like me some suppressor nades. Well, I think that's probably the case. It just, they felt too overpowered. And I mean, in any game, like, suppression is, you know, going to be very uh, hard to deal with just for the most part. Um, so they probably just wanted to take it out just to, you know, not to, like, balance around it or anything like that. So... Well, there is a chance that Night Stalker's coming back. Um, 
when asked about the Taking King subclasses, I don't remember who it was. It was one of the um, design leads. It was either Crucible or uh, PVE. I couldn't remember who. But one of the design leads said that um, they're holding things as a surprise for us. So um, that might be like they want the only suppression thing to be Nightstalker if it's coming back. I don't know. It just um, the, the Sentinel Titan is definitely what I'm going to play in the beta first. What I'm going to go through those strike missions and play a lot of PV. P with, um, just, I don't know, <sighs> I'm ready for Destiny 2, and I'm glad that we're going to be able to play this beta, and it's going to be super exciting to do that. Um, while we're talking a little bit about subclasses, did y'all see any of the information or, or see the gameplay of the new Voidwalker uh, remaster, or, or what they're doing with Voidwalker? It looked weird, like that big, super slow Nova Bomb shot, but I don't know, it, uh... I feel like it would be kind of easy to get away from that. Well, there's also rumors that you can shoot it down. Like, some people have said that it's going to be shootable. Um, so, uh, I don't know. It, it's a little bit different. But there was gameplay footage for, like, a second that showed, like, a Nova Bomb doing, like, a Lance-style animation. They didn't show it explode. So maybe you get your choice of either big, fast explosion, kill everyone in front of you, or that slow kind of moving giant bomb that kind of tracks around corners. And that was very different. It was very odd to see a Voidwalker throw that and it just kind of hover and then go around the corner. They didn't really show it explode just because of the angles that they had. But um, it, it was it was an interesting take on it. Uh, a little bit different. For PvE, it's going to be fantastic because you're just going to throw the Nova Bomb out and it's going to go towards enemies. Hopefully you can like tell it to go towards a big boss and not a bunch of mobs, but it's going to be fantastic for PvE because you just throw it out and you know you're going to hit some of those uh, enemies in PvE, but uh, you know, I'm excited that they're redoing everything, honestly, uh, to make it quite a different game. They're going to have to, to just change it up, you know, thematically wise, as far as like the story and stuff, but I mean, they really... I think with the downfalls of some of the stuff from the first game, you know, like, they, they have to do something with the second game to really, uh, I guess, wow us to start with. Well, um, one thing about uh, subclasses again, um, in the beta, we're only going to be able to play with one set of perks right now. They, they from what everything we've heard, we are not going to be able to choose our set of perks, so each subclass is going to be kind of limited to that. But it is a beta. They're not really um, testing out like subclass balance right now. They are a little bit, but they're really worried about servers and really worried about a little bit about weapons and stuff. So um, we're only going to be able to choose one half of those subclasses. And it sounds like we're going to be able to pick um, the six subclasses they have talked about. Um, we Maybe not. Maybe we can only play the three new ones. But either way, it's going to be exciting just to feel how everything is. Um, hopefully get to see some exotics, maybe, some exotic weapons. Even if they're just the Destiny 2 reveal event weapons, those were some cool weapons to see. But uh, so we got we got like two and a half days until the beta comes out. Right now, if you have pre-ordered it, you can uh, download it. It's 12 gigs, so you can download it and just go to the main screen and see what's um, going on. And so um, uh, you know, download it and listen to some of that music. It does have a really nice soundtrack so far. Just listening to it for a little while, it, it sounds great. There's a ton of music there, too. If you stay for, like, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, you get, like, two or three songs in there. Or two or three pieces, I guess. Yeah, I just, I, last night I turned it on and just sat there and was doing something on my computer, just listened to it. Uh, this is very cool. They also had, um, like, they had the new music. You've heard some of the new music, and they had homages back to... Uh, uh, some of the old Destiny 1 soundtrack, which is very cool. But anyways, we're not here to talk about the soundtrack. Uh, we, I mean, we can do that later. Um, so anyways, uh, sorry, like I was saying, if you pre-ordered it through a store, you put the code in to Bungie.net, click on where you want the beta to be. So you click on which platform and you click on which region. Xbox One is globally PS4. You can click specifically which region you want to do it in, which is kind of odd, but oh well. It must be to do with the um, PSN versus Xbox Live servers. Anyways, 
um, then you will get a code, put it in your Xbox or PSN, download it. If you downloaded through the Xbox Store or the PSN, that's a little bit different because it's you have to specifically search for the Destiny 2 beta, and it's very hard to find for whatever reason. So uh, just go ahead and pre-download it. You, it's 12 gigs. Uh, some people's internets kind of suck, and so you don't want to be downloading it while your friends are telling you how awesome it is and how cool it is that they're playing. That would be heartbreaking. <laughs> yeah, you're sitting there for like five hours waiting for 12 gigs of download. I think my internet took five hours to download the 12 gigs, which is pretty sad. But anyways, I don't think there's a lot of other news out this week. Um, one one of the cool things I saw for Titans, there was a Striker Titan with two lightning grenades. Now, lightning grenades have been dumbed down just a bit, but it had two grenade charges. So um, even though all of our stuff is gone, it looks like some of the abilities or some of the ideas will come back a little bit familiarity. So some of your old um, perks from exotic armors and stuff may come back from exotic weapons, may come back, maybe a different weapon or different set of armor. But it looks like some of that stuff is coming back, which is um, very exciting to me, just so even though the game is new, we get a little bit of old in there and it's not completely new. Also, guys, did y'all see the um, Crucible map that is essentially the entrance to the Iron Temple? Yeah, I'm kind of glad to see them at least make some references back to the first game. Get to go back and fight in one of the old social spaces. So I mean it just seems um just seems like they're they're doing a lot of things to make us want to play this game. Um and so while we may have a uh shorter podcast today guys, I think I'm about to go into the A C B the Man rant section. Shouldn't be too long. Um I got a question though and this will determine if I actually go into that. Do you think Destiny 2 is a new game or an expansion to Destiny 1? It's uh it's it's a hard question. Um a, a new game. Is it I different think. enough to warrant a new game essentially? I think so. It um I think we'll definitely see a significant boost in performance and uh a significant boost in visuals even though you know Destiny 1's not a bad looking game but it's Two looks better, I think. I'd say it's it's a new game. I don't think it's a, an expansion. Okay, so um, even if the story, even if the ideas of where they were going is an expansion, from everything we see, from the upgraded engine to the upgraded subclasses to all the work they've put into this to make this a better experience than Destiny 1... Yes, you can argue that there are some elements that might have been part of Destiny 1 that got pushed back. You can argue that a lot of the things uh, look the same and a lot of the things are um, remnants from the past. But guys, this is Destiny 2. It's a whole new game. They're pulling in story. And um, this is going to sound harsh coming from me. But if you are one of those people who specifically think this is an expansion and should have been an expansion to Destiny 1 and should have been like $20 download, please consider not buying the game and go play something else. And now, granted, you can still buy the game, sure. But I've seen so many comments online, and yes, half of them are trolls, but I've seen so many comments online where people are like saying this is definitely an expansion, should have been an expansion, don't know why they're doing a Destiny 2. Um, they're, they're even trying to make the argument of like, uh, people say like next in line, so going back to uh, some of the old games like, uh, I, I saw somebody make a comparison to Gears of War 1 and Gears of War 2, how Gears of War 2 was different, more different than Gears of War 1 than Destiny 2 is to Destiny 1. And um, my rant portion tonight is, it is a completely different game. Yes, a lot of the things are the same, but it is a sequel to the game. It is not an expansion. Maybe the ideas, maybe the story came from an expansion, but the gameplay itself and how we are going to interact with the world is completely different. Okay, rant over. Yeah, I think I think an expansion is uh, you know, just uh, a slight modification to the existing game. You know, like the the different storylines that we got uh to uh the f- first destiny and then like the upgraded sub subclasses 
or the third subclasses for each class, you know, all that stuff. Like, it didn't really dramatically change the game, it just added to it. But what they're doing with Destiny 2, I mean, completely re revamped weapon system, new class, or not new classes, but new subclasses, um, essentially. Um, highly, highly modified subclasses. Um, new, complete, basically a complete new storyline almost. They're essentially throwing away, they're not throwing it away, but they're essentially throwing out everything they've done in Destiny 1 because they knew that yeah. that way of, ta of storytelling wasn't the best. Yeah, I mean, as, essentially, they're, they're adding to the story, but they're essentially saying, Destiny 1 is over. Now we're moving on to just, you know, they're, they're trying to, comp I think they're trying to create that hard split. Um, and I think they've done that, uh, with the, the stuff that they're throwing out, the stuff that we're going to see here in the beta and coming up with the game. I think there is a hard split between one and two. There's no, it's, it, it, there's, I don't see any reason why people would say it's just an expansion or a DLC. People are trolling and stuff. I, I get it, but there, there are people that have like are legitimately arguing it. Now, uh, uh, from story wise, I bet they had some idea of this story, especially from that one mission where you outbound signal, where you try to go stop a signal, or you see that they sent a signal. The Cabal have sent a signal from their ship back to the Empire. I get it, you know. They've already planted the seeds for the story. They've had the idea for the story. But what if they came in and they said they're going to have a DLC? If Destiny 2 wasn't coming, but they said they're going to have a DLC um, for Destiny. And granted, we want some change. But what if they said, hey, there are now two primaries. Uh, your sniper rifle is going into your heavy slot. You can't use your sniper rifle all the time. Um, the Defender Titan is going away. Uh, we now have 4v4 Crucible, and they completely redid everything in Destiny 1. Now, they could have done that, but, I mean, they, what if they completely redid everything and said, it's completely different? I mean, it's enough warrant to be a new game, and it is a new game, and it's going to be a new game. I just, uh, the people who are legitimately aren't trolling, or the people who aggravate me so much, and and I, I, I am a Destiny fan, or I'm a Bungie fanboy. I am uh, a Bungie apologist most of the time. But it just seems so odd that people are so negative about something that's going to be so much better. I don't think we'd see the kind of overhaul in the, this in the gameplay that, that we're seeing in the, the DLC either. And a lot of it's needed. Like, just some of the stuff they had to do, like, in year one to address, like, one specific weapon that might have been a little bit of a problem. The way they almost... I would annihilate a certain class of guns at a time or just completely destroy several perks to address one thing. There's Or delete perks. There's a lot of stuff that needed to be reworked from the ground up, and I think it's it's something that's definitely going to be addressed in in this game, and it's something that they couldn't do if they were just building this as a DLC off of Destiny 1. Well, and as as you said, ECB, you know, you were saying that they could have just changed it and added to it with that, uh, you know, as a like they just said they were going to change it. I think that would have been too big of a change because now you have to think, how are you going to do? Like, you now have to think, well, how are we going to do all of these raids that everybody's been doing for three years, or you know, two or whatever? How are we going to have to redo these, you know? I mean, because you now have to rethink all of your weapons, you know, um, and things like that. You know, I, I think I think making that change and having this as a DLC would have been a terrible move on their part. Because you're now, even with the guns and stuff and just the weapon system, would have completely had to, you like, everything would have been changed from that. Because you now have to immediately rethink of how to do everything. Well, I mean, now, to be fair... Um, from what I understand, I never really played WoW, but from what I understand, there was a an update to WoW called Cataclysm, which like completely decimated the game world, completely changed some mechanics and upgraded the systems. You were still playing the same like graphics and still playing essentially the same base style of game, uh, but I mean you couldn't really go back and play some of the old raids, and, and they could have done that. They could have just said you can't go back and play. But it just seemed like a huge, especially with the architecture and everything, how 
Um, like Doc was saying, how when they went to nerf one gun, they had to nerf the uh, subclass or the nerf the archetype and couldn't nerf one gun. It just seems a little bit uh, strange. Uh, there's one other thing too. We're not, I'm not going to get into this. I can maybe rant about this next time. All the news outlets that are that are talking about Anthem and where Anthem says it's going to be a 10 year thing, and they're like, "Oh, Destiny said it was going to be 10 years, and now they're doing Destiny 2." Bungie never said Destiny 1 was going to be 10 years. They just said the world of Destiny. Anyways. Franchise, the idea. The idea of Destiny was supposed to be a 10-year thing. Yeah, okay, anyways. that That's that's a rant for another time. But anyways, um, so, beta's coming out. Uh, do y'all think y'all are going to run the story mission uh, a lot? Or, I mean, I'm going to play it like four times maybe, and then I'm going to PvP the crap out of some Destiny 2 beta. I don't even know if I'll play the, the story mission, to be honest. Because we've seen it? Not because we've seen it, because I'd want to keep playing. Yeah, and I, I think gotcha. it would ruin the storyline for me. So I think I, I, I might play a, a lot of PvP, and maybe I'll play the story mission, I don't know. Well, you can, you can always play the strike to get the PvE section and skip the story mission. Yeah, I, I just... As a person who really likes story, I kind of... I probably will just... Honestly, just sit and binge the entire storyline in the first several hours of the game being out. So it's not like, I mean, I, that's probably what's going to happen. And I, uh, well, I, I kind of want to save it. You know, okay, I'm, I'm like I said, I might play, I might play the strike, probably do PvP, uh, anything else I have to offer. I just, I don't know if I'll play it. I'll have to see. Well, speaking of uh, something else they have to offer, I don't remember the time exactly. You can look it up, or I'll put it in the description to the podcast or whatever. Um, there's going to be one hour where we can log into the farm, the new social space, on Sunday, next Sunday, which is the... What is that? The 23rd, which that's the last day of the beta, right? Yes, that's Sunday. It's supposed yeah, to be yeah, at okay. 10 a.m. Pacific that they're opening that up. Okay, so 10 a.m. Pacific, they're opening it from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and that is to stress test servers and everything. There's not going to be a lot of NPCs there, but there'll be hopefully the uh, soccer court will be available and will be functioning. Um, but yeah, they're going to just stress test the uh, social space, which is awesome. Hey, I can't see there. Well, well uh, we'll take a video. and. Uh, I assume that's in the morning. Yeah, yeah, 10, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific, so um, be would be oh wait, noon 10 a.m. Pac- I I may be home for that. I have to see. I don't know. I'm start the really uh, <laughs> the bad thing for me is I'm starting a new job at Sam's Club this week as the beta oh. hits. So I'll be playing on and off. It's not bad. It's I mean great. I'm I'm, I'm very enthusiastic to have a, a job, but uh, that it's like I'm day. starting the week the beta drops. <laughs> Hey, you yeah, know, I, Sam's you know, playing that better. Sam's Club closes at eight thirty p.m. They open at six a.m. I've got from eight thirty to six to play. Hey, there you go. You know, um. Anyways, optimism. Well, uh, I think that's about it for now. Unless we want to go into some of the nitpicky, small news stories, uh, which personally I don't. I think that's about it for this week's podcast. Uh, is there anything, any other topics y'all guys can think of before we uh, head out of here? Uh, prepare to uh, gain no sleep uh, during the beta. 